All right, now we're going to stake our pulley just the way they did. Take a punch and we'll go in there. All the way around, we're gonna do that. All right, we're ready to put our pulley back on the compressor. I think she's square. Next thing we need is the piece that we used to pull off the clutch, reverse the arbor piece, take the thrust piece that was in the kit, and we'll take an old baron. We'll screw it onto the end of the crankshaft here of the compressor. Okay, there it is. She's all tight. is all in place. Next we need to put our snap ring back in place. Okay, there she is. Next thing we got to do is put the clutch in. Now if uh, your key is stuck in the clutch, take it out because you want to put it here in the keyway. This is where working on the bench would be a little easier. Okay, lined up with the keyway. All right, now we want to put our clutch holding tool on the clutch, and then we have the piece that we use to remove it that we use to put on the pulley and our thrust piece. Screw that on the crankshaft.
Almost there. And we want to check that all the way around. Okay, there it is. Okay. Next thing we need to do is to take the center nut in here. It's uh, a very light torque, uh, about 8 to uh, 16 foot-pounds. More of a safety feature than anything else because that uh, pulley is uh, not going to go anywhere. There we go. Okay, we just got done reversing our steps. We mounted the compressor, put the belt on, hooked up the wire, and now we're going to go inside, start it up, and see if the AC works. Wow, look at that! Everything seems to be working fine now. Well, that's all there is to changing the AC clutch baron on the Chevy Prism.